Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. All right, guys, so we're back to talk about the Captain Lee of it all, Carl Radke, Lindsey Hubbard, and I guess everything in between. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, guys. So we've been talking about Captain Lee, Carl Radke, Lindsey Hubbard for quite some time. And today is no different. We have a lot to discuss, but Lindsey Hubbard and Carl Radke, I have to be honest with you at BravoCon, it was so awkward. And now that we know that he's living in a different apartment and doing his own thing, yeah, it's a little weird, but here, let's just get to the drama of it all because I think that's the best way to do this. Now, Reality Blurb came out with this saying Captain Lee suggested that Carl Radke shelved the podcast interview. Plus, he says not talking to Kyle at BravoCon was the highlight as he reacts to Kyle avoiding him. Mm. Captain Lee wants fans to ask Carl Radke why he well, why his podcast interview with the Summer House star was pulled from his lineup at the last minute. Now, just after the episode, which featured Carl opening up about his split from Lindsay Hubbard, was previewed, Captain Lee confirmed it will not be aired, as he also addressed his lack of interaction with Kyle Cook at BravoCon on his podcast on Wednesday. I was surprised to hear that Kyle Cook said that he avoided me at BravoCon. That's what he said on the November 15th episode of Salty with Captain Lee via Us Weekly. Then when his co-host Sam asked if not crossing paths with Kyle was a highlight, he admitted the fact that I didn't have to talk to him probably might have been. According to Captain Lee, he wasn't offended by Kyle avoiding him at the fan event. Instead, he was flattered. Hmm. It was just funny to find out he was actually avoiding me. It, it, he flatters me. I think I'm not sure. That was an unusual moment at BravoCon. Now, as Summer House fans will recall, Captain Lee took aim at Kyle during a previous episode of his podcast that he believed Kyle contributed to Carl and Lindsay's breakup to a certain degree. You were part of the cracks. You were supposed to be Carl's best friend. And all you do every waking moment that you're talking to Carl is badmouth Lindsay. Is that what friends do? That's what he asked Kyle, who said that he had a front row seat to Carl and Lindsay's ups and downs over the summer on watch what happens live weeks ago i don't know how kyle and carl stay friends i mean to be fair guys i think that captain lee has a point and i also think that kyle is not a good friend in this instance i think that kyle probably contributes to a lot of the the drama and he likes to uh, be a sniper from the side also on the podcast via Us Weekly, Captain Lee addressed the disappearance of his podcast episode with Carl. He said, we did record an interview with Carl. I think the fans heard because I've had some people questioning me about it. Okay, we heard the tease. Where is it? I'm sorry to inform you that it will not be aired, and that was not my call. If you would like to find out why, I guess you could call Carl Radke. We did do it. We did record it, but it will not be played. So I apologize to all of you who thought you were going to be hearing it. That was my intention, but things just didn't work out. We were ready to air and the plug got pulled, but not by us. Make of this what you will. Um, days ago, Us Weekly received two sneak peek clips from the podcast episode. It's been scary. It's been confusing. It's been emotional. And I feel really bad with how everything ultimately played out is what Carl said of a split from Lindsay in a November 6th clip. If I could go back and make something a little bit easier or better, I would. I do firmly think that Lindsay and I going in separate directions will be healthier for us in the long run. But in a second clip, Carl said Summer House viewers would have a lot of questions answered by the new season. It's been very painful. It's been an emotional time. So I've been silent just to process, be respectful, try to move forward and heal properly. It's been just a difficult situation. But Lindsay Hubbard is also firing back at Carl's denial of calling Summer House producers to film the split as Carl reveals that he's moved into a new apartment and shares an update on his business. Mm. As Lindsay 
called Carl out for the ultimate betrayal while walking the red carpet at BravoCon over the weekend. Carl confirmed that he's moved out of their former $13,000 a month shared apartment into one of his own while also announcing he's returning to Loverboy and launching a non-alcoholic drink. I'm actually proud to announce that I'm going to be joining the Loverboy team on a part-time basis to help with the non-alcoholic product. That's what he revealed. Um, I'm excited about that. I am also producing a movie that's actually filming currently, so I'm going to be going to Malibu after this, BravoCon, to finish the movie. And then I've got some other things in the works, okay, which you guys will learn about. But yeah, I just, I'm trying to take care of myself, but focusing on my career is definitely going to be a good way to heal and move forward. Now, following their August split, Lindsay continued to live in their apartment as Carl moved elsewhere out of respect. I just want to do the right thing, and it felt it was right to give her the apartment. Thankfully, I have a new apartment, so I'm excited to have a new foundation since I have, I've had the new foundation. It's been incredibly positive for me. But Carl did note that closure still needed to be work on, worked on between him and Lindsay, and he's taking everything one day at a time and just trying to take care of himself. But as for Lindsay, she's not happy with his handling of their breakup. And during an interview with Access Hollywood's Nightcap on Bravo, she made it clear that Carl did intend for their split to be filmed for the cameras. I love when people sp spin narratives, but yeah, ultimately when you tell somebody who controls the cameras about your feelings before you tell your partner, your best friend and your fiance, that's what happens. After then, acknowledging that she and Carl are on a television show, Lindsay pointed out that this is their real lives and slam Carl's betrayal. We're not doing this just for the sake of the cameras. This is a real life situation here. And, you know, to not tell your own partner before you tell anyone else is a betrayal of the ultimate kind. I mean, I don't know if you can get mad at her about that, because I feel like this is kind of kind of what somebody would say. And also, she's just giving her side of the story. She's saying, I feel like this is a betrayal of the ultimate kind. What are you supposed to say to her, right? And also, to be fair, for Kyle, I know that you're moving forward. I know that you are filming a movie. I know that you got your own apartment. I met Lindsay at BravoCon, and she was extremely sweet. She was very nice. She was uh, forthcoming with not information because I didn't ask her information, but just her feelings of like, Hey, how are you? And she was great. So my next question is, and I think it's something that I've really heavily focused on. If you were willing, and you were, to sit there and call production, this is your best friend. If I decided not to move forward with the marriage with Jason, I would not call production. I would not call my friends. I would not call cameras. I would not call everyone around me. I would I would call Jason. That would be the person that I called. And I think that for this moment, that's not what that's not what he did. Right? I think that he instead was like, "No. We're going to move forward. And this is what's best." I don't know, guys. By the way, I just dropped my phone. I apologize. I want to hear what you guys think. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know. And also, don't forget that today we are going live on Radio Andy to talk about the Real Housewives of Miami situation. We'll see you then. Love you guys. See you next time.